Yeah. But, uh, contest in the semi final against Tazugul. He just sort of surprised him, didn't he? Yeah, definitely. In that second round, he started to just take away. Um, Savet Tazugul got a bit lost. Um, but he just showed his confidence and really controlled him very well throughout the fight. Well, uh, also has medals from both of the Grand Prix so far. He has a silver and a bronze. He'd like to complete the hat trick and pick up a gold, I'm sure, here. But uh, having competed in the same category as he will be all year, the majority of it, we know all about him, and he is indeed the man from Iran. Strikes first and second, if you like. Quick feet there. Yeah, he's, he is very fast. Um, both these more of a 63 player, so you'll see a lot more speed in this fight. It was a great effort there to try and get that headshot, not quite getting the reach. No, he didn't just amount, able to pull himself away from the danger. That danger is coming at him fully in the form of Yagubi. <laughs> Nothing given, despite the uh, cheers and applause coming in from the crowd. Yagubi beaten by uh, Saul Gutierrez Machedo in the uh, semi of the Grand Prix in Turkey. And uh, uh, he was beaten by uh, Kim Hoon in Moscow, the man who was beaten by opponent today, Lee. Yeah, I think the difference there was uh, Kim Hoon just had that extra bit of uh, reach that Lee Dae doesn't quite have, so that matchup's a bit different to this one here. Um, but it's very interesting to see Yugubi, even though he's been on the back foot for the most part, he's done very well to steal his points and keep his lead. It's been the uh, order of the day for him. Yugubi here, 3-1 up. Again, when he gets in close, he just seems to take a point. Yeah, he's excellent, and most of that's down to how quick he is. His foot just picks up so fast off the ground and gets to the pad. Well, Ude Hoon will want to stop Yugubi getting close enough to him to score points. But this is where the sport becomes wonderful, because Ude Hoon has got to get close enough to him to score his own points. Yeah, definitely. You can see before Lee Dae Yoon tried that um, attack back kick, not quite doing enough. But it's a bit showing as well because Yugubi's moving back out of the way, so it shows there is a, there's an opportunity there for him to open up and attack him a bit more if Yugubi is just going to go back if uh, Lee Dae Yoon does pursue like, more aggressive tactics. So a uh, world bronze medalist in the under 63 kilograms category against an Olympic silver medalist from 2012 in the under 58 category. So as Ruben said, despite fighting in the under 68 here, these two will be slightly quicker than that weight suggests. Start of the second, and again, Yugubi just happy to hold Lee at bay. Try and pick his moments to register. He does come forward, he just looks a threat, doesn't he? Yeah, definitely. He's, he's varying what he's doing a lot, which is brilliant, because um, Yugubi's constantly just kicking off that front leg, and it means he's got a lot to think about. And here from uh, the first yellow of the match. I'll go given to uh, Yagubi, but uh, we saw a fair few of those flying around in his semi final, so he's not afraid of the old yellow card. Oh, a big attempt there, doesn't register. But, and again, just desperately trying to hook that heel into the back of Lee's head. Yeah, it's a very good point. If It's a very good kick to score if your opponent's not aware of it, but I think when they are, it's quite easy to just lean forwards and get out of the way of it. Lee trying to 
sucker is going to be in there, and I think he's registered his own. He does, in fact, he does. The uh, double world champion moves ahead by a point, and this one's just sort of bursting into life a little bit more now. Yeah, definitely. Lido, he's starting to work him out a little bit here. He's, he's, Yagub is constantly coming off the front legs, not changing a lot. And because of that, Lido Yoon, he spoiled his first kick and took advantage of the short distance, like he tried to do again there. Just over 30 seconds remaining of the second round. A second round that's uh, seen Lido Yoon just burst into life for a period of it. Enough to put himself one ahead. Just now trying to pick off individual points. Oh. And has he registered with that again here? Well, the, uh, the card is up from the, uh, the coach here. He feels that that headshot connected. Yeah, it feels a good effort. Um, not quite sure if it did score, but definitely a great kick. Both of them very clever. Uh, the first one in particular, when he went body, went body again, held it up and went, reached really far down, followed the opponent's head. Um, obviously not quite scoring. We'll wait to see if we can get the, uh, the replay on the screen. That's close, you know. Yeah, but I think here the problem could be that he's hit the head guard, and um, I think you have to hit the face in order for it to count. Mm. Well, he has two goes at it. It's been interesting to see. I think for me it'll be whether the second one hit the face or not, because I feel like this is pretty clean on the head guard. And obviously, as we have the electronic system, um, if it's hit the head guard, it's obviously not hit it hard enough in order to score. Well, that's the first one. I wonder if they'll go as far as the second. And here it comes. Now look out for uh, the left foot coming at speed. In fact, have you? Well, they only seem to be looking at the first. Or will they go a bit further on? There's the uh, people assessing it. This, uh, this feels like an age for the competitors, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. I've been here before, and some of them feel like it's going on and on, but um, it's been rejected. So the scores stay the same. Yeah, I think both probably just hit the um, head guard rather than hitting the face. Great attempt, though. And those those kicks will still be there later on for uh, Lido Yoon to capitalise on. Well, uh, certainly worth trying. Close enough and uh, to the naked eye. You'd be fooled into thinking it happened, but uh, at the end of the second round, just a point separates two people who are very capable of whipping together a few points in succession. Yeah, definitely. I feel um, Lido Yoon has worked out his opponent, Yugubi, a little bit. Um, he's worked out his constantly coming off the front leg, and he's worked out if he can spoil that first kick, there's a chance for him to go high. But Yugubi, as we saw earlier um, in the semi-final and in this match, he's very good at avoiding those headshots and stealing his own points as well. So it'll be interesting who wins this battle here. So you well, big points on offer, as we said at the top of the programme, 40 points for your winner in terms of ranking points towards Rio, 24 for both of them already, tucked away nicely into their suitcases, but, uh, well, one of them has to win. And there's not much separating them as they come back out into the third round. What's Shigubi got to do here to be a potentially a surprise victor of this Grand Prix? But he's got to change his plan a little bit. He's constantly there. He's constantly going off the front leg and Lee taking advantage of that, knowing that he's standing on the spot doing the front leg. What a way for Lido Yoon to start this third and final round by picking up big points and just opening up a, a, a gap that's enough for a, a quality player to hold at bay. And a slip there from Yakubi isn't going to help his cause. No, extend, extend Lido Yoon's lead a tiny bit. But Yakubi does have the techniques here in order to take advantage, uh, in order to bring this back. But Lido Yoon's work rate is what could um, be the problem here, because Lido Yoon isn't going to stop kicking at him. He isn't going to stop trying to extend his lead. 8-3, another slip to the floor. That's going to cost him again, and he's just looking a bit more disgruntled. And this is where he can let himself down. He has to keep his discipline. And now, all of a sudden, he's finding himself on a back foot as well. He's uh, He's seeing Lido Yoon just starting to come towards him a little bit more. Oh. And he stretches away, hits the deck. Minimum will cost him one. And uh, another coming for the Kyongo. And now does he connect with the back of the head there? 
7-10 it is. 60 seconds here, Ruben. This has been an intriguing contest. Yeah, definitely. Lee Yoon's style is always to keep trying to keep kicking, trying to keep extending his lead further. But um, maybe he just overdid it a bit there. Yagubi took advantage of him when he was in a bad position and scored a headshot. Two come together and with 51 seconds to go. And they leads by three. Oh. Good, good stuff from Daewoon here, registering three points at what could be a vital moment. Just over 30 seconds left to open a gap up to six here. You'd suggest it's a little bit too far away from Yagubi as it stands in a couple more here, up to 15. And the winner of the Manchester Grand Prix looks just about nailed on here. Yeah, definitely. He's going to complete that hat trick of medals. He's just seeing out these final few seconds. There's nothing that Yubi can do here. It's far too far behind. Yeah, this is how you close out a fight. Um, you just keep trying to score more and more points. Too often you see athletes on the back foot um, letting their opponent take control of the fight just because they're trying to save what points they do have. But uh, instead, Lee Dae Yoon, as he always does, looks for more and more points and it just it can crush your opponent like you saw at the end there. What a class, class performance from Korea's Lee Dae Yoon. Wonderfully saw out the final. Trailed at times, but once he got in front, discipline and quality really started to shine through from the Korean. And he just moved away steadily and steadily. As Ruben was pointing out there, each, each, all of a sudden Yagubi didn't know what to do. And the moment, the moment he paused, the moment he panicked, Ida was in. Yeah, exactly. He was all over him towards the end there. Um, Yagubi's plan at the start was very strong, very solid, but. Um, he had to, he had a, needed a bit more variety because as soon as Lee Dae worked it out, as soon as he started spoiling that first kick that he was doing, um, he, he was a bit lost. Uh, Lee Dae was scoring headshots almost at ease. Well, I'm uh, running down comfortable because in the end it actually was Lee Dae The first two rounds, not so, but once he got the measure of uh, Abul Fazl, it was nice and easy from there on in.